Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Free J Fly and we're back with more Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now we're not done just yet. We had episode 3, Hell is Empty, and we have the bonus episode, Farewell. Um, if anybody noticed, it said install and I thought maybe I just didn't have it installed for whatever reason. But um, then I realized I just didn't have the DLC, so I went ahead and paid the almost $10 it took to get it. So now I have it, and we're going to go ahead and play it because I've been looking forward to it and seeing how exactly the whole relationship between Max and Chloe plays out before Max leaves. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Dolls. Alright. Oh no, what are these girls up to already? Whose room is this? It's Chloe's room. Freddy, I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Is she even strong enough to put a, soul, uh, a hole in the floor? Really shit up. Does her lighter already have, like, a marijuana leaf on it? Oh, boy. Oh, maybe it's a dud. Oh, false alarm. It's not a dud. I mean, I've seen cooler. You're also insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I'd better do some actual cleaning too. Yeah. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Sure. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Now hang on, Max. You're still here. They're not over yet. Enjoy it. While it's here, you know? In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. So I'm wondering, like, going through this model, like, is this why Max... Is this why Max kind of, like, ghosts Chloe? Because maybe she just feels too guilty to, like, contact her? Even if it is, I don't think it's a great excuse to, like, ghost somebody. Like, they obviously had, like, a really good friendship. And to just kind of, like, ghost Chloe like that. Help Chloe with her cleaning. And not, like, tell her what was going on. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I can't open it. So it's not letting me open up the thingy. You see that little thing in the right hand corner? I'm uh, pressing my select button and it's not letting me pull open the menu for that. So there's that gear skateboard we saw in Chloe's room before. I don't know which skateboard this is. I think that it's another one that was also in her room. Like, that we saw earlier. What about this one? Uh, four skateboard decks, again. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Ooh, excuse me, I had to yawn. To the parents of Chloe Price. Dear parents, congratulations, your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 100, I'm sorry, not 100, 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. 
An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26th. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Admissions. Now, why don't we ever meet this guy? I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Are they, though? Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's the camera. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His fort. <laughs> the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. So I'm guessing we have a Max's camera akin to actually the first game. Cool. Now can I open my thing? No. So do I not actually have a kit? No, it's off the desk. Where is it? Oh my god. All right. I guess they're in her uh, pocket dimension pants. Menagerie of magic. Ms. Madeline's. Let's look at it. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. Yeah? This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You never use it. <laughs> you haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. <laughs> At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. <laughs> you know, you throw away that tin of potato chips on your desk. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no potato chips left in there. What's over here? People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but... This is pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. Another yawn. Sure, let's lie down on the job. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. That music's so relaxing, I'm already yawning, and that music's gonna put me right to sleep. Alright. Oh man, I feel another yawn coming on and I hate it. Got Miku up here? Or at least a knockoff Miku? I look at the firecracker remains. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things, or despite it. 
Could be both. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. Trash it then. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Uh huh. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. All right. I was going to say like why don't we ever see like this these firecracker remains but then I remember her room looks reorganized and the bed is actually like up against this wall and covers it effectively ever since I started taking photos Chloe's hung them in her room oh that's sweet it's like my own private gallery I like that your photos are double-sided how much did that cost report card Let's look at that later. I want to see some more stuff over here. Hi, chart. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Keep hoping, Max. What's in here? Is that... What is that? Washi tape? We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. Uh, what about this half eaten jawbreaker? Oh, ill. Serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quip. Tossing it. <laughs> There's no way. Your mom and your dentist will thank me. So lame. Just so lame. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready. I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Uh -huh. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Well then, save it. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's, it's, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart that never stopped you from wearing it before it's fine really well if you say so mm. now we can look at her report card as usual chloe's grades are better than mine i still kick her butt in pe though I don't know how she's making a B in physical education unless she just skips some of the uh, the lesson material, which is kind of easy to take care of most of the time unless you have a legitimate excuse, which I don't think Chloe does. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Is that a game called Oopsies? Oh, my life. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? Pretty sick. The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Yeah? Check it out. <laughs> How about Isn't you? that good old white girl dancing? Oh yeah, totally. Let's shake it up with that white bread drink dancing. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. <laughs> Something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. Right, this thing. I wanted to look at that. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and. I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. I don't know what this game is about, but it kind of looks like alcohol addiction. I don't know. The the pieces look like like beer bottles to me. <laughs> Oopsies, got caught with the DOI again. What adding this to the pile? No freaking way. 
Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Well, we never play. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. I can see why Chloe has such a hard time cleaning out her room. Right? <laughs> Especially when she, like, you know, doesn't actually make an effort to see what is and isn't trash. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. I mean, like, I, ca I get, like, sentimental value of, like, certain stuff. But, like, you know, this old magic set... Uh, okay, so Mr. Sharky, I can understand, I right? Tried my best to clean this place. Max, shut up. <laughs> I understand, like the sentimental value of like Mr. Sharky. I have stuffed animals that I refuse to let go of, but like this magic set, mm. a cheap, you know, store-bought magic set, or this oopsie game that you could probably find like pieces for on eBay, <laughs> or you know, or not. But I don't know. I just, just let go, Chloe. Let go. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. <sighs> I had to stifle a yawn again. Ugh, rip my life. I tried my best to shut up, Max. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. Rest in pieces, doll. Alright, comic strip. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Damn, I wish my handwriting looked that good as what's in the uh, speech bubbles. Like, holy shit. The, adventure the adventurous adventures of Supermax and Dr. Chloenstein. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course. The power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Kloenstein? Oh. Rip. Guess we'll never know what happens. Oh goodness, what is Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Did somebody dress these cards up in drag? What's going on with these? How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. <laughs> and yet? Our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. If you say so, Chloe. If you say so. What about the skate deck? Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. What do you have to say about these now, Max? I guess these really are pieces of our past. Then again, so is this whole room. Rip. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Hmm. Well, I don't really think there's anything else that we can, like, really look at. Anything on the walls? No, no. All right, Chloe, hey. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? All right. Define try. Well, we've got the whole day ahead of us. Chloe. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? Troll. I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later. Tell her now. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. 
It's... I... Don't know how oh, to... Shit. Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? It's a mixtape. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate base. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. Thanks. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to 